This is the video for rational expressions. The most important thing I want you to remember about rational expressions is that they are fractions. This means that everything you know about fractions applies to rational expressions. You already know how to simplify, add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. We're just going to add another layer on top of that by having polynomials in the fraction. And again, polynomials are something that you already know about. We spend a lot of time about polynomials. You already have a wealth of knowledge about rational expressions. We're just going to try to make some of that knowledge more explicit. The first topic I want to talk about is simplifying rational expressions. To simplify rational expressions, you need two conditions happening at the same time. The first condition is multiplication. In order to simplify, there needs to be multiplication happening to the thing you're wanting to cancel out. So if the thing that you're wanting to cancel out has addition in it, that's fine as long as it's multiplying. I'm going to give you an example of what I mean here. Here I have x plus 1 over x plus 2. You might be tempted to say, oh look, we have an x on top and an x on the bottom, let's cancel those two out. But we can't because we have addition happening to that x. On the other hand, here I have x plus 1 times x plus 2 over x plus 1. And I can cancel out the unit x plus 1. If I think of x plus 1 as being its own unit, its own object, I'm canceling out all of x plus 1. I'm not just canceling out x and 1. I'm canceling out the whole thing. And I can do that because that whole thing, all of x plus 1, is multiplying x plus 2. And at the bottom, we can think of this as multiplying an invisible one. Our other condition is that the same thing needs to be on top as on the bottom. You shouldn't simplify by canceling out these two x's. They're both in the numerator. They don't cancel each other out. In fact, they enhance each other. And this would actually simplify to 2x plus 1 over 4, since x plus x is 2x. So if we have multiplication happening and the same thing on top and bottom, we can cancel out parts of our rational expression to simplify them. This is important because later on when we're adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing rational expressions, it's going to be a lot nicer to have simple rational expressions than really big complicated ones. Let's give some explicit steps to simplify rational expressions. The first step is going to be to factor. If you're still uncomfortable with factoring, I suggest you check out a Khan Academy video to give yourself a refresher on the basics of factoring. You'll remember that we spent most of our time in class factoring using a diamond problem with the product on top and the sum on the bottom. You're going to follow the same steps that you would to factor any other polynomial um, that you would do to factor a polynomial in a rational expression. Your next step is going to be to check for multiplication. and cancel. And remember, we had two conditions that we had to meet in order to be able to cancel out, and that was multiplication is happening, and we had the same thing on top or bottom. Now that you have this in your notes, let's try some examples. Here I have a rational expression. It's just a fraction with a polynomial in the numerator and the denominator, and I want to simplify this rational expression. My first step is to factor each polynomial. I'm going to do that by doing a diamond problem and ask myself what multiplies to 1 adds to 2. It's 1 and 1. For the bottom, what multiplies to 2 adds to 3. 1 and 2. 
So I can factor the top and bottom to x plus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 times x plus 2. And now I'm going to check to make sure I have multiplication happening. I have x plus 1 multiplying x plus 1. And down on the bottom I have x plus 1 multiplying x plus 2. And I notice that I have this unit, x plus 1, in both the top and the bottom. So I'm going to cancel them out to get x plus 1 over x plus 2. This is my final answer. I can't simplify it any further. I might be tempted to try to simplify these x's here. But remember our conditions. You need to have multiplication happening. Right now, we have addition happening. I hope this gets you started when your first steps to simplifying sys uh, not systems of equations, rational expressions.